truth. The new hate speech. <clears throat> free speech. It ain't free anymore, ladies and gentlemen. It's not free anymore. What's up, guys? It is Thursday, October 24th, 2024. We're at the Bitcoin block height of 867,220. TikTok, next block. Listen, I recorded that video yesterday because I did not watch Kamala Harris's CNN town hall meeting. I did when I got home, unfortunately. And let me say this, man. Um, part of me felt bad for her. I, just a tiny part of me, just as a human being, man. You know, similar to how I felt bad for Joe Biden and, uh, in the first debate, June 27th, 2024. That's when everything kicked off and changed. Uh, Kamala Harris is, is not up for this job, man, obviously. Now, listen, listen to me, okay? Let me say this before I get started, okay? I think I'm a pretty good talker. Some of you guys may be pretty good talkers. I'm, I'm actually, you know, that's something I'm good at. I'm not good at a lot of things, but I can, I can talk, right? <laughs> a little too much sometimes. And, uh, you know, you, you have to be a high level arbiter or a person that can speak well, high level, know your stuff, uh, to, to be a politician, just, just a politician number one, even on a local, state, and a federal level. But to be uh, the vice president or a president of the United States of America, uh, <laughs> that's not, that's, there's only a, a handful of people that can, that can do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, versus how many, 340 million, uh, relatively speaking, uh, how many people there are in America. There's only a handful of people that can do it. And unfortunately for the Democratic Party, man, Kamala Harris ain't it. She, she's just not, guys. I mean, and you know how I know she's not it? You know, I can sit here and name all the stuff, which I probably will, but it's like this, man, right? And I'll get into the town hall in a minute. When you have a woman that, uh, you know, her whole vice president, her vice presidential, you know, run or campaign or however long she's been there, she didn't do a lot of talking. She just didn't, you know what I mean? And when she did do a lot of, when she did do talking, let's just say it didn't work out too well. Um, the way they, they brought this woman out, and again, I believe, I don't have any inside sources on this, but I have heard this, that the reason why Joe Biden picked her is because, first of all, she's a DEI hire, guys. I'm, I'm sorry you don't like it. That's the way I see it, and that's what I've heard. And again, what has she done? What, what has she done so special in California as a senator and a, and a district attorney? What does she do? You know what I mean? And I've talked to people from California, and I don't know anybody that likes her, even Democrats. Right. Democrats did not like it, Kamala Harris before she became the vice president and while she was vice president and before she became the presidential nominee, the top of the ticket. They just didn't. Right. <clears throat> the second reason is, uh, you know, with the DEI part, part one, a, I guess, or one B is that, you know, a lot of black folks wanted a woman of color up in there. She ain't black, though. And I've uh, talked about that in depth. <laughs> trigger warning for y'all blackity blacks out there and i'm gonna get into y'all in another video and uh because i'm going back and forth with these people <laughs> and uh the third reason is it's an insurance policy because they knew that if they picked her joe biden's uh joe biden jill biden because jill is really running shit her and some other people uh that if they asked him to step down because everybody knew he was mentally uh, declining even in 2019 he was just look at him I mean he's way worse than he was in 2019 but compare Joe Biden 2019 versus Joe Biden 2017 or 2016 it's, it's just a difference man and again it happens to everybody man we're all we're, we're all human beings I'm not knocking him for it it just it, it just is what it is the media cover for him lied and so <laughs> that's why it took them so long and the media to cover cover everything up that they were doing with Joe Biden. Remember all that stuff, guys? We, you know, people have a short term memory in these in these cycles, man. But, you know, what were they telling us? What was the mainstream media telling us? Oh, Joe Biden's great. His economy is great. Uh, Bidenomics is working. Inflation is coming down. It, it, he's, you know, he's running a great. Uh, <laughs> he's doing great. That's what they told us, right? He's not stepping down. Or what are you talking about? Those videos you saw, those are cheap fakes and. This is the best he's ever been. He's sharp as a tack, right? But as soon as that debate happened, June 27th, like I said, it changed everything. The media could not cover him anymore. They pressed that button. They went off on him. 
And that's when they tanked his uh, tanked the ship. And that's what I think is going on right now. Not to that extent. And let me explain, okay? Because I've been watching a lot of CNN and MSDNC today. And guys, the reason I do it, number one, for you don't have to. <laughs> so you don't have to watch it. But number two is I don't live in a bubble, man. I don't. Anybody I argue with on Facebook or out here, you know, I already know what they're going to say. They're not going to say anything about good about Kamala Harris. What I'm talking about when we're debating or arguing or whatever, <laughs> you know, these people that, with Trump derangement syndrome. I watch them because I, I want to hear what Joy uh, Bear is going to say and Joy uh, Reed and all these people from The View and <laughs> these, these, these mainstream media uh, outlets <clears throat> that are dying, by the way. They, they are dying a slow death. I wish they died quicker, but hey, whatever. And Trump's helping sink, sink in that ship of the mainstream media. And they came out today after after and last night after the uh that one on zero debate because it's like it's almost like she had a town hall debate and she she lost <laughs> she lost she was by herself and could not answer the questions and again man I, I felt bad for her as a human being and i was getting secondhand embarrassment but then afterwards i thought about it i said no i don't feel bad for this woman she signed up for it and she and in my my opinion she's an evil person man for what she's done to this country from my point of view everybody's got their own point of view everybody's got their <clears throat> opinions mine ain't nobody's i'm not nobody special that's just mine and you can see cnn and msnbc and all these people are kind of turning their backs on her now not msnbc like joe uh more than joe and all of them. them them people are just idiots but you see certain things they're saying that they wouldn't they wouldn't have said before if she would have done well right and i think this is why they're doing it i think they're getting ready for a trump win and because it's clear as day trump trump is going to win this election I mean, I, and the reason I'm saying that is because the American people cannot be this stupid, man. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't just run on Trump bad, Trump bad, Trump bad. You know, you, you, people just are not going to fall for that shit anymore. Everything is Trump's fault. It's just, it's just. Again, if 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 you're that good and the economy's that good, then just tell us what you did well and what you're going to expand upon. But they can't. You know what I mean? They ran her in the basement for the first 28 days, something like that. Anyways, and I see these quote unquote journalists trying to act surprised, just like they did with Joe Biden after the debate, to see Kamala Harris fall and fail the way she did. And they, they were even saying that she was saying word salad and she's not getting to the point. I mean, the woman does not give any answers. And the reason why is because she can't, right? There's a couple reasons she can't. Number one, she just doesn't, she's not talented enough. She doesn't understand and know the, <laughs> she doesn't know the topics. I mean, you guys been in school. You've seen somebody fake when they're trying to, you know, uh, act like they know an answer when the teacher asks a question. That's just how she is, man. She just doesn't know the answers, right? <clears throat> Second, first reason. Second reason is she's got all these different little things she has to, all these different people she has to appease. She has to appease the far left and she has to appease the, uh, the establishment all at the same time disagreeing with everything Trump, Trump does. She can't agree with anything Trump does. And Trump is common sense, whether you like him or not. I mean, we want a closed border, right? We want um, a wall. And to his to his credit, I got to give uh, Anderson Cooper credit. He asked her and he followed up with the questions about the border. And she just could not answer the question. I mean, she, I don't think she answered any of those questions, man. Again, because she doesn't know the policies. She's not, she's not talented enough. And she just can't do it because, again, if she answers one way, she's going to piss off somebody else. So she has to always ride that fence. And when you ride the fence and you don't answer any questions and you're always word salad and then you're butt Trump, butt Trump, butt Trump, you're not going to win doing that. And good. So that's why I say I think he's going to win. I just don't see, again, the far leftists, the people just love um, Democratic policies and stuff like that. And they hate Trump. They're going to vote for him. You know, 45, 46 percent of the people are going to do that. Those are people that hate Trump. And then the other 45, 46% love Trump. But we're fighting for that last 8 or 10%. And I don't think those people are <laughs> going to fall for this stuff, man. Because, again, they don't they don't uh, regurgitate or they don't sit there and get all this information all the time. They're just like, man, look, um, I'm going to the grocery store. My bills are up. You know, because, you know, you can't have it both ways with the Democrats. That's what they do. They try to have it both ways. They'll tell you that Trump's economy was bad. And if you say it was good, well, you're mis you're misremembering. You don't remember correctly, right? You you you're misremembering. But uh, uh, what's his name? Barack Obama said the quiet part out loud. 
he said, oh, the only reason Trump's <laughs> economy was good is because of me. I did that. He didn't do nothing. So now that switched the whole narrative because, again, they told us his, his, his economy was bad, Trump's. Now it's, oh, well, it was, it, well now it's good because Biden's, uh, Barack Obama said it was good. And the only reason it was good because Bush did a bad job. And, you know, it's all Republicans do bad, Democrats do good. And, again, I don't play that Democrat-Republican game, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Again, Donald Trump is a complete different animal than these, than these Republicans. He's changing the Republican Party from within. And I'll make a video about that. I've already talked about that. But, again, don't play the low-level Republican-Democrat game. Because trust and believe, <clears throat> there's a lot of wolf and sheep clothing on the Republican side. Just look at who's uh, who's endorsing Kamala. And so when you have a woman that just does not have the talent to do that, and everything, they keep her expectations so low, and it didn't work, and now all these people are asking questions and she can't answer them, and she has to get out there by herself and swim in the ocean by herself, it's tough for her to do that because she just doesn't have it. You know what I mean? Again, she's not Michelle Obama. She's not Barack Obama. She's not Hillary Clinton. She's not, you know, Bill Clinton. These, these people can talk. These people can Gavin Newsom, new scum. These people can do it. She can't. <laughs> you know what I mean? She just can't do it. So now these journalists, quote unquote, they know that there's a good chance she's going to lose. So they got to keep some kind of uh, <laughs> I don't want, dare I say integrity. They don't have a lot, but they got to keep some integrity. So when he does win, they can't look back and, and show all the, just the bad takes that they had because nobody's going to believe him. But then, I mean, if I was CNN, I'm not going to lie, with the Trump derangement syndrome and MSDNC, I'd want Trump to win because all they can do is just talk about Trump all day and all the people with TDS is going to listen to him because he's in office now and they just want to hear how bad he is. So that'd be good for them. But the problem is the party's over. For a lot of people up there in dc and you best believe everything that joe biden wants to do including lock up his uh lock up his opponent his political opponent because he said the pri quiet part out loud which the mainstream media doesn't even talk about of course because you imagine donald trump saying what joe biden said then of course joe biden being a senile man at the afterwards said oh i meant politically lock him up politically put him in prison okay imagine if trump said that trump even says anything close to that in an out of context quote or a speech they just run with it when they know it's a lie so <clears throat> this is crazy it's getting sad we got what 12 13 days whatever it is left and it's going to get even crazier and i told you guys this month months ago that the trump derangement syndrome is going to be on 9,000. <laughs> i told you this and joe scarborough's wife on um Morning, Joe. She just went absolutely nuts today saying that Donald Trump are gonna, is going to kill women, he, she said this morning. He's going to kill women. Women are going to die. And there are people that fucking believe that shit, man. So, my goodness. Lord help us over these next couple of weeks. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And again, guys, listen, inflation's bad. That's what everybody's talking about. It's always the economy stupid. That's what they say. And since that's the case, uh, there's only one way to stop uh, your dollar from dying. And I know a lot of Democrats are not going to believe me when I say this. It has nothing to do with the greedy corporations. Nothing to do with that. <laughs> it's not. Every once in a while, it's a little bit of that. It's it's all done in Washington, D.C. When you lose your purchasing power to your money, it's not po It's not the the prices are going up. It's, a, it's the uh, increase of the money supply, which is a supply and demand thing because it's more supply of money chasing the same amount of goods and services. And it's decreasing your purchasing power. And there's only one way to stop that, guys. And if you've, been, if you've been paying attention to me, I'm pretty sure you guys already know what it is. It's the best way to save. And for me, the only way to save. And that's Bitcoin. I love each and every one of you. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love, guys.